Good morning everybody at YouTube land. We're just going for a little hike today. I thought you'd like to go along. We're going to hike up this hill. Come on guys. It's beautiful up there. It's the next morning now, and I want to show you some things around the garden. Look at how the dew, or whatever, goes just around the very edge of this pumpkin leaf. It could be that the leaf is transpiring and letting off those little drops of water. Or it could be the dew collecting along the edge. Isn't that pretty? Also, I want to show you how, see the dirt is all thrown up here on top of the plants this morning. There's dirt on each of the leaves. There's a piece up here on the edge of the chair. There's dirt all over the moringa leaves and along the edge here. So, that means to me that there was a little critter in here last night digging around. I'm wondering if it was a bird pecking for little creatures in the soil, but whoever it was didn't touch any of these plants, so that's a good thing. This pumpkin's coming right along. Look at it compared to my hand. And yesterday, I saw the funniest thing. Ooh, pretty bird. Anyway, I saw the funniest thing. I saw a bumblebee trying to get into one of these big blossoms. And it was so funny. He was stumbling all around and falling backwards. He finally fell backwards into the, into the, down into the blossom. And, um, and then he turned around and went straight in. <laughs> like, oh, maybe that's why they call them bumblebees. They bumble around. So I looked it up online, and sure enough, bumblebees are called that because of the way they stumble around and are very awkward. They get the job done, though. This moringa plant has a little bit of yellow on the leaves, and I'm not sure what that's for. It has been really hot last couple days. The lemon balm seems to like the heat. The snapdragons also seem to like the heat. Here's the chamomile again with its petals all hanging down. 
So the birds we're hearing this morning are the Buicks Wren. Oh, and the neighbor dog. And the house finch. That's the one right there. It has that. has a whole bunch of notes in its song. It's so cute. It makes me so happy when I hear them. Well, I better get to watering these guys. Because the sun's already up. And it's going to be really hot. Really quick. I've been trying to figure out how I can set up a drip irrigation system in these containers because I've been watching them on YouTube. I know there's there's a way and they're really good. My only thing is that I use rainwater for the majority of water. I haven't figured out how to get rainwater into a drip irrigation system. If any of you have a, an idea, let me know. I've got the sun oven going here today with a baked potato in there. And as the summer sun rises higher in the sky, I've been putting a little board underneath here, just to lift that up a little bit. Try and catch a little few more rays. Wow, this is pretty hot for my compost bins. 90. Very good. One other time I had one of the compost bins up to 100 degrees, but today is the first time I have seen all three of the bins up to 90. Yay, the side of Kiki's head is all healed up. I shaved that extra hair off there. And you know how the scab kind of sticks in the hair? So, but I'm going to have her wear the cone for a little bit longer. Just because it probably feels pretty weird to kind of be bald there, you know. You know, if you get your hair cut really short and it's kind of itchy. So I don't want her to start scratching that again. Are you happy you're, you're all better? Yeah? Good girl. Buddy, such a good boy. He can catch flies with his mouth. Yeah. Did I ever tell you the story of how when I got him a little puppy, I was going to name him Treasure? Because then I'd have Precious and Treasure. Yeah. But somehow his name became Buddy. He's everybody's Buddy. Get that fly. Get that fly, Buddy. There are the chamomiles waving in the wind. They stretch their petals out again. The other birds that we heard today were the lesser goldfinches and the California scrub jay. Also, once in a while, I hear the, um, oh, there's one that's almost extinct. It's called the California gnat catcher. That's what it is. And it sounds like a kitten. It's so cute. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. Jesus loves you. Mwah. Adios. Be sure and like, subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell. Bye-bye.